Eight Great Tips for Survival at Sea Most of us adore visiting beach resorts at least once a year. However, you shouldn't forget that the sea is as attractive as wayward. Do you know how to swim and behave in the open water? Here are several rules that might save your life one day. The most important trick is number one as it works wonders in any desperate situation. Number eight, calm down. It's not surprising that people who find themselves in the open water have a wild fear for their life. However, panic definitely won't help you. It can cloud your judgment and make you lose the rhythm of breathing. Therefore, the first thing you should do is to calm down. Number seven, choose the right swimming style. In this situation, sooner or later, you'll have to move in the water. The style of swimming you choose determines how long your strength will last. Remember these two rules. One, in calm water, it's better to swim on your back. In this case, you'll get the opportunity to relax as much as possible and breathe evenly. Two, if waves splash around you, it's better to swim on your belly. For instance, try the breaststroke. Take a breath of air, then lower your head into the water and exhale. If you don't keep your head above the water surface all the time, you will save more energy. Number six, find something that floats. If you're in the open sea as a result of a shipwreck or an airplane water landing, there must be plenty of things around you that perfectly keep afloat. It will be even better if it's a boat or a raft with which ships are equipped. Number five, take care of clothes. Remember that open sunlight can be extremely dangerous. So don't remove your clothes, they'll protect you from the sun. If you're half naked, try to find something that can shelter you from the sun's rays. Ideally, build a tent that will create shade. Number four, decide what you'll eat. It's good if you have an emergency food ration on your raft. However, you won't necessarily starve without one. If you have rations, divide them into small daily portions. This will make them last for a long time and you won't have problems with digestion. If you don't have one, you can make a fishing rod from lace and a can as a hook and try to fish. If you lack such items, try catching seaweed. Small fish can get stuck there. Try to fish even if you have stores of food. After all, fish contain some liquid. Never eat spoiled foods no matter how hungry you are. Number three, provide yourself with liquid. During a forced sailing, water is much more valuable than food. After all, you almost don't move and you are wasting little energy. You have to consume the liquid constantly, but never drink seawater. Here are some simple ways to get drinking water. One, condensate. You'll need a box, two containers, waterproof material, and weights. Take one container and pour seawater inside. Place the other in a box next to it. Secure some waterproof material, such as polyethylene, above both. Put a weight over the empty container. Soon the container will be filled with fresh water. Two, rainwater. Try to ensure that you always have a couple of empty containers left for collecting rainwater. Don't worry, according to studies, drinking untreated rainwater is safe for your health. Number two, save yourself properly. It's no wonder that in such a situation, you'll want to step on solid ground as soon as possible. However, you should consider all your rescue measures carefully. Remember these simple rules. If you have no idea where you are, don't row. Rely on the current. It has more chance of carrying you to land. Don't rush into the water if you see a ship in the distance. Don't try to catch up to it. It's almost impossible. It's better to give a signal with a mirror or a piece of can. Don't try to signal by fire so as not to endanger your temporary shelter in the form of a raft. If you were lucky enough to get a few flares, don't send the flares up in a void. Wait until a ship appears at a distance. If you found fluorescing, dissolve it in the water when you can see an airplane or ship. It forms a bright spot around you which can be easily seen from the air and from afar. 
Number one, don't lose hope. Despair is your most dangerous enemy. Don't give up hope of being saved. There are many stories of people who were found in the open sea months after their disappearance. For instance, 25-year-old sailor Poon Lim, who worked on a British merchant ship, survived alone 133 days in the open sea. After a shipwreck, he managed to find a raft with fresh water, cookies, flares, and a flashlight. Every day, Lim ate only two cookies and made three sips of water. To avoid muscle atrophy, he even floated around the raft twice a day. As you can see, human possibilities are endless. The main thing is to keep calm and hope for the best. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the 